Today we need to talk about people believing that V was being banned by the company and many fan sites disrespecting him. We also have an alleged vlog apparently showing V and Jenny together. And then we have Jungkook addressing some of his backlash he has over his tattoos. So hey Dumb, this is Dave Desai. Hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumplings, hey spilling bug merch, and let's go. Jungkook recently did his live stream and honestly there's a lot to talk about here. There's so much that Jungkook ended up revealing on this really long stream and armies have been picking at the parts that have been answering a lot of armies questions over the years. One of the biggest things that armies have asked Jungkook is to do a tattoo reveal or tattoo tour. There's a lot of speculation on whether or not Jungkook has a tattoo anywhere else on his body. So there's times when people thought Jungkook had a back tattoo which was debunked during this stream and many others like that. I was definitely surprised that this was something he finally did as it clears up a lot of speculation. Jungkook also has armies tattooed on his knuckles and this apparently was the first tattoo he ever got. He goes over how he does regret that tattoo but only because of the font, obviously not because of what it means. He thinks that it should be a bolder and fancier as that is how he feels about army. Each tattoo that Jungkook had a specific story to go with each of them and it's quite beautiful. He talked about his journey to getting his full sleeve tattoo. Of course, when you have a lot of tattoos in order to get a sleeve, there's of course going to be a few tattoos that are more filler tattoos that maybe you didn't love but got it anyway. Jungkook talked about one that he had that was clouds and he had talked about how he didn't love that and when he got it he was in America. Apparently he said that the tattoo artist and him were not on the same page and it didn't turn out how he wanted. It was tattooed on him during the on era which must have been early 2020 and Jungkook said that he was inflamed during the shooting for on. This is very interesting too because I think I had the misconception that all his tattoos were done by friends that are extremely professional and know him. But that is not the case and it seems like he has tried many artists all around the world. And that's one cultured and expensive arm. We do also know that there was an occasion in which his new tattoo artist had posted photos on Instagram of Jungkook's tattoos freshened up and had covered up a lot of Jungkook's old tattoos so he clearly didn't like some of them. But it wasn't just all fun and drama free like this and no, no. Apparently, some armies or fans had something to say about the fact that Jungkook even had tattoos. Some said that Jungkook would regret it, and others asked Jungkook to go through the process of removing it. But Jungkook had a response to this. Jungkook said that he didn't like the pain and feels like it would be painful to remove all of them. He said that he understands why people remove them, but he thinks the pain and also the long process to get it removed is not worth his energy and probably his time too. He also feels, and most importantly, that if he removes them, he is denying his past self and something that his past self wanted. Whether that's just a year old past self or the fact that when he was underage, he really wanted to get a lot of tattoos and now he has them and removing them would be against that. Either way, it's clear that Jungkook does not listen or care about what other people think of his tattoos. His tattoos are simply tattoos for himself. I love his tattoos and I love when the members pursue things that they want to do. I think it's beautiful. He has recently been on his journey to try to promote himself and I think he is getting his name back out there and making a lot of appearances to drum up hype for his possible release. It would be cool if he had a specific release date ready and out for the album, but I think if he is making a lot of appearances, once the album drops, there'll be a lot of people tuning in to him and all that attention will go right to the album. However, there was a bit of controversy and fans feel like V isn't being properly represented lately. People were arguing to say that V isn't being posted about by Hive's official social media, and of course V isn't being talked about in a way that he quote unquote should. A lot of these comments are coming from V supporters and the opposite comments saying that V shouldn't be talked about at all are coming from actors who support other members. So there's conflicting comments whether or not he should be talked about. However, it was interesting because V was recently believed to have made an appearance on You Quiz on the Block. This is a variety show when typically the two hosts just go to regular everyday people and showcase those people's lives, chat with them, give them surprise quizzes, and give them a unique refreshing day that is different from what they normally get to experience. BTS has also been on the show before and you might wonder what celebrities do on the show. Well oftentimes they just get asked questions and we learn some new things on their opinions and journey. I do react to a ton of BTS variety shows and talk show moments. If you want to join me and laugh with me over these fun moments, I do have several videos on Patreon. I will link them below and there is currently a limited one dollar tier that is open. Hope to see you there. So allegedly V was going out to appear and there was a press event happening. Very 
professional photos with him in a suit and there was some fan site drama here. People were complaining how V going on U quiz for some reason was not being reported on. Why was Hybe not talking about it and why were these fan sites not retweeting it? Others think that it's because V has been in hot water lately with his alleged quote unquote scandals like people believing he is smoking and dating which are not scandals. Y'all in K-pop make these things appear as if he murdered someone and people think that he is being banned or blacklisted and these big fan accounts are purposely not wanting to include him and Hybe too because of controversy. And then others believe that the main reason why no one is posting is because there hasn't been any official announcement of V on U quiz. So the photos that have circulated and posted are Sasings or stalker footage. But V is literally dressed and you can see literally the flashes go off. So this shows that he is at an event with the press there. So I don't think that's the reason. I simply think that this appearance fell under the radar. It wasn't something that everyone had talked about and thus maybe a lot of people were not even aware it was happening. Not everything that happened or doesn't happen is a personal attack to each member. Sometimes people screw up and make mistakes. And you know what? The person that often gets forgotten will continue to get forgotten because that's just how it be sometimes. But I don't think V was forgotten. I think people just weren't aware if this was a real event or not. I don't think V would particularly care either. The show will air and when it airs, he will get his publicity regardless of whether it happens now or not. There's been a lot of conversation around V anyway, and it's not like people have stopped talking about him. Apparently, there's more conversation around V and Jenny. I think once the media slows down a bit, people find things to talk about and topics recirculate. Recently, there was an alleged vlog that came out where someone was recording Jenny eating ice cream. There was someone that was recording Jenny that ended up getting a lot of attention. When this vlog surfaced into light, Jenny was taking a walk and was looking into the camera. From that moment, you could hear someone respond and say yes. This voice was then hyper-analyzed by people and people had a lot of theories. A lot of people thought that that voice sounded very similar to V and that deepness or tone was giving V. Of course, this is just a theory and you can have your theories. I think it's fine to ship two members together and think they're cute together. Once upon a time, a lot of people were just shipping V and Jenny as a cute fantasy thing and not as if it's 100% true. That can still exist even if there's a huge rumor around it. It's just a cute thing that the fans do. Of course, when listening, I don't particularly think this is V. I think this is Jenny's manager, Jenny's bodyguard or whoever Jenny was with late at night while getting ice cream. Of course, she is going to be with someone late at night for her ice cream runs. You'd make this beautiful, famous, rich, and skinny woman walk all by herself at night. That would be irresponsible of YG. There was also an alleged conversation over the fact that if the girls wanted something from their hotel or apartment, they usually have to let the staff know and the staff will get it for them. Of course, that is just to avoid them stepping outside, getting hurt, drinking, driving, or doing anything thing that could hurt them or hurt their reputation. Now, of course, this topic that they can't go outside was more so when Blackpink was younger. Now that they're less rookies, the girls might know what they can and can't do. So they might not need supervision. However, this is less likely and likely the girls and likely if the girls were to go anywhere, they need someone to help them or protect them. So do I think it's V, two huge celebrities walking around at night with no protection or bodyguards and filming themselves, which will draw more attention? No, I don't think this would be likely. I don't necessarily think this person sounds like V and I think any male person holding a camera would sound like the voice we hear in the video. But what do you think about all this? Do you think V would be upset or say that he is banned from fan sites and Hive which is why he is not being reported? What do you think of Jungkook's tattoos and him addressing haters? And of course what do you think about this alleged rumored V and Jenny video footage of them eating ice cream? Do you think it could be V? I think the odds are quite slim. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks so lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.